Well everyone, the time is finally here. Bo here from BZ Up, and a long time ago on a channel exactly like this one, a legend was foretold of a hero playing Farming Simulator 19, but over time that legend slowly turned to darkness as, uh, as a series never came out. Until today, that's right, we're finally playing everyone. Farming Simulator 2022, my first farm I've ever recorded for a video, and I'm greatly looking forward to it. And not only that, that, but we will be playing on hard difficulty everyone. I'm not no noob. I, I may not remember the controls, but I've played this before everyone. I got a little experience. We're gonna be playing on hard. We're gonna enjoy all the pain, all of the suffering, and lots of film in two times speed. Everyone loves film in two times speed with the song behind it. I know it. I know, I've seen it. I, I know people like that. And if you do like that sort of stuff, then this series is for you. But before we get started, there are a few things I do want to say. First off, you're not always going to be able to see my lovely face during this because uh, when I go into farming and I start doing all these fields, you know, you don't want to be seeing the little little drips of drool coming down my mouth or maybe a fly landing on my dead eyes after a while of staring plainly at the screen for hours. So we're gonna, you know, maybe mix it up a little bit. Sometimes we have a video on, sometimes we don't. You, don't, it, you know, we're just gonna go with the flow. And secondly, as with any series that we have coming new to this channel, this is for you, everyone. These videos take time to edit many hours of my day. I, I, a video that takes an hour to record may take me four to five hours to edit so if they don't receive the views then they're not gonna receive the editing everyone so if you do like farming if you do like this series please please do these few things for me number one like the video number two watch the video number three comment down below to tell me how you liked the video and number four share the video to everyone else that way we can just you know continue this on I'd love to keep playing everyone really would but if after two or three episodes it hasn't gained any popularity we're unfortunately gonna have to switch and start doing other stuff so with all of that out of the way I do have it on good authority that he third brother farmer he is on his way right now traveling to the town of Elm Creek and uh, I'm excited to see uh, he did ask me to help him assist him in learning a little bit of human farming culture which I'm I I've obliged to do so uh, yeah with that out of the way everyone Hit the intro! Elm Creek, everyone, and here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We get to actually uh, design Farmer Heenail here. Knowing Farmer Heenail, obviously an alien, he he would he would love if I just kind of you know designed this after myself. So let's uh let's give him some sweet hair, little little bit of a beard there, cool cool mustache, of course, absolutely necessary. They've gone all out with all of the options and stuff. I can even get sunglasses. Wow, we zowie, yeah. If that doesn't look like an alien trying to play as a human, then I don't know what does. Here we are. Fantastic, everyone. We're here in Elm Creek. We have nothing. We have, uh, well, I tell you what we do have. We have one big loan for $200,000. Um, we could probably pay this off. In fact, I'll tell you what my plan is. My plan is to not even uh, not even buy anything right now. I'm gonna do contracts. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna be fun to do. Just do some contracts, get a little money under our belt. But uh, if we're gonna do that, then there's no reason to have this loan. So I'm honestly just gonna just gonna pay off the entire loan, and uh, and then we'll just kind of do some contracts for a little bit. And soon we'll have a little money under our belt and we'll feel confident about buying some land and doing some farming so uh, yeah let's uh, let's do some farming everyone contracts what do we have available we have a harvesting contract we got a plowing oh my pl plowing is always annoying we have a spraying contract spring I always like spring spraying the field with herbicide we can lease for less than 300 dollars less all right well let's get to spraying I suppose accept the contract Oh no. Oh no. We didn't, uh... Oh, we already messed it up. Okay, well, we're gonna do this then. <laughs> we, I forgot to borrow the items. I don't have any items to do. So we're gonna do harvest the canola and take the product to Goldcrest Valley. I guess we're gonna do that. It's, uh, it's, it's unfortunately gonna take some money away from us for borrowing the, the tractor and whatnot, but that's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Our first farming. First farming venture. 
So what I can do here is I can actually... 31 here. Oh my god, it's a giant. That's a giant field. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm actually gonna set the destination right here. What do you mean you're blocked by an object? Silly goober. Oh, now he's going. Okay. What? This is the craziest worker I've ever had in my entire life. You just tipped over the freaking... What are you doing? I never should have hired you. Ah, oh, test of strength. Get out of the harvester. <laughs> God. What a freaking crazy start. Oh my god, we just saved the day. We just saved the day so much. Alright, without even trying, we got the header onto the trailer. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, okay. Alright, good deal. What a start. Fantastic, everyone. Why don't I just drive these both here and we'll just uh, we'll test out the old uh, two-time speed function, eh? Here we go. Some of you may be thinking like, oh, I wonder if this harvester is like, you know, something difficult for a uh, farmer he nailed here, but honestly, like compared to a spaceship, this is, this is nothing. So, um, I think he's, uh, he might even be a little bit bored, but I don't want to go ahead and say that. I don't, I don't know for sure. Here we go. Harvesting our first field, everyone. <gasps> Ooh, boy. Can't wait to do all of this. This is a giant field. <laughs> all right, time to speed. Go! So I do have to say, this is a little bit of personal preference here. Sometimes I will just do rows, you know. But uh, this is this is going back to my mowing yard days. I don't know. I always just liked doing like going around the full field, and then uh, and then doing rows afterwards, or honestly, whatever is easier to turn. If it's easier to just turn and keep going, then that's what I'll do. But after a while, as the field gets smaller, it becomes kind of annoying to keep turning, and it becomes easier just to do rows. So. Yeah, we'll just keep keep doing this and change it up if we need to. So let's get to that point now where we uh, probably hire a worker here and uh, and go ahead and pull up the tractor and uh, get this kind of figured out here. Get some of it unloaded out of the harvester. Let's turn this puppy around. There we go. There we go. 
Fortunately, with the size of the field, this uh, little tipper here is going to fill up at some point. So that loaded up about just over 50% of it right there. So we should be good to go. Less than a quarter done. <laughs> Well, we filled up our first tipper of uh, canola anyway. We're going to keep the helper going there. I really don't want to pay the helper too much because he's just eating away at the money we're making. But we do need to get this off to be sold. And, uh, and then we can get back and get back to uh, harvesting and hopefully not lose out on a lot of le uh, revenue. where to uh, drop this off. It has a little exclamation mark right here. I, I figure this might have had something to do with the train, so we're just gonna find out, I guess. Well, this isn't what we're supposed to do. We did find a little collectible, looks like. A thousand dollars! That's one trailer. Nine more trailers to be found. Well, right on. I was hoping this had something to do with the mission, but it wasn't. On the map, it has Goldcrest Valley listed right here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work in a mission context because renting a train is a lot of money and, uh, and I don't want to do that, so I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work. I guess for now we could, uh, just put it in here. That way we can get back to our field and keep going. If anything, if anything, this will at least allow us to get back to the field. I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to work. Oh, we, we are 53%. Well, right on.
See, it's moments like these where I think <laughs> if I just would have been a little more detailed, I could have picked up that strip and then I wouldn't have had to go back for it. Looks like we're going to be at, oh, I don't even know, 85% once we finish this up and then uh, might keep going a little bit more to get that last little strip right there because I think at some point we're going to hit 100% for this contract and then the rest of it is honestly going to go into uh, into the silo for us as a tip, I think anyway. Uh, could be wrong. Could Could be wrong. IT finished up the field pretty much anyway. I think uh, it's gonna be pretty dang close. Ooh. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to squeeze that. What a trick, what a trick. They would have locked us in. I don't wanna hit Miss Margaret's car there. Why this is lit up like this? What what is what does this even mean, huh? What does that even mean, huh? Why are you an exclamation mark? Two hours later. Okay, so according to some stuff I read online, hopefully this is how you do it. I'm not really sure. I'm honestly gonna save my game and just make sure that it works out. But evidently, what we have to do is we have to get a train now, which costs us $1,000. So we're getting 5,000 for this whole thing. But a thousand of that's gonna go towards renting this train. And then hopefully we put the, the grain in the train and then we just rain down this uh, train track here. All right, renting a train. Where is the train? We've rented a train, our hour has started. Train is going to arrive soon. Well, I wish I would have known that. Old train over there. I ain't afraid no train. Kill your train. Let me in. Let me in the train. That's right, hold for the train. Train is power. Put it in this one. And fingers crossed now, we'll send it to Goldcrest and hopefully be done. Contract is finished. Now we can collect it. Huh. I I have no idea. But that's how you do it. If you're trying to figure out how to send your stuff to Goldcrest Valley, uh, yeah, I guess once we did it, seems kind of easy, but. Well, I tell you what, all this, uh, all this work and contracts and stuff has given me an idea. It's given me an idea, I think. If we're looking to do some passive income, perhaps what we should do is buy some land and then, uh, and then build some buildings that can give us some passive income. How about that? Uh, I think I have an idea of exactly what we're going to do. When I was first starting our little stream showing off Farming Simulator 2022, um, I bought this little piece of land here. And I really thought it was fantastic. I mean, you got this big field right here. You've got this open land where you can kind of build your own farm, customize it to whatever you want. And you do get something similar with this over here, but you do have a few trees. And uh, going back and forth between the two, I honestly think now, I think now, that we could even chop down these trees and make a little bit of uh, a little bit of moolah, a little bit of money on the side, and we get three different uh, fields to kind of mess around with. Uh, but for now, I think this is what we ought to do. Two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Put Heenil, put Farmer Heenil on the map here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Our first purchase as a farmer, as a farmer on hard difficulty. We're down down to seventy-nine thousand now, which we can use to. Uh, to buy some some stuff but uh by golly we are now we are now a farm owner we own land in elm creek everyone that's right whoa watch it crazy city people am i right this is where we live that's where we live by george fantastic 
Hunter Hino would be so excited right now. Could just, she could just shoot those crows like, this is our land over here. We can, we can build farm worth, worth, worth it to us anyway. Something that should have cost us far less money. <laughs> now finished. I now have a semi-beautiful gravel road leading to my greenhouses. I, I couldn't be happier. The only thing we need now is a water tank. Something to pull that water tank. And, uh, and then something to actually get the fruits and vegetables once it's all done. Which I'm very excited about. And you should all be too. So, uh, yeah. Like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the BZ app as we continue doing these farming simulator videos. I'm excited to go get our uh, water tank and uh, and something else to maybe do something and do some more contracts since we're down to $26,000. But, uh, yeah. Farmer Heenail's on the map, everyone. Here we are. Our fantastic farm. Uh, he's an alien, so he doesn't really need to sleep or anything like that. But, uh, hey, we got greenhouses, and if we want to, we can just, we can just sleep inside here, by, by golly, with all the dirt and stuff. This is what he's been looking forward to this whole time. He'll probably just curl up right here in this dirt. He'll, he'll be just fine. But that's gonna do it, everyone. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.